Um, I think I have a uh, interesting news here. I wanted to let you all in on um, this latest development. Thank you all for sticking with me. Anyway, let me give you a little bit of background. Um, first of all, this is my um, WaveTech 288. As you can tell, I couldn't resist taking the cover off of it. Uh, the battery is dead and the calibration is bad. <clears throat> So I have to get another battery and calibrate it, but that's, it's not that far off. And um, it really is helping me. I decided to um, run another test. It was somewhat of an interesting test. I decided to, let me show you the schematic here. I decided to see what the signal would do under varying circumstances. It seems to be that the amplitude of the ALC is a function of frequencies. So there's some type of reactive component here, I figured. Um, I don't know how well. I'm going to post this schematic so you all can follow along a little better. But I know, I know that that's probably not very, um, very focused. But right uh, there we go. Um, I decided to inject a signal right on that capacitor into the final section. And the capacitor is uh, C01, which is basically right there. And then take and hook the oscilloscope up to the output of that bottom pin there, which is basically uh, right out of that resistor R03, which is a 100 ohm resistor. That goes right into the um, rectifier A and the 2200 picofarad coupling cap which is then rectified and becomes the DC negative offset. Anyway, um, this is the actual hookup right here. I don't know if you can see that all very well. Right there is that 100 picofarad uh, silver mica cap and there is where the probe of the um, oscilloscope is connected. Everything is grounded, as you can tell. There's no power going to this unit whatsoever now in terms of uh, being plugged in. Um, none at all. It's being injected by my 288, and uh, then we're basically uh, looking at the signal through the oscilloscope. Uh, it's kind of like a makeshift tracking generator is really what it is. Uh, this is the interesting news. I have it set to 3 megahertz, and let me show you all. That's the amplitude, 5 volts peak to peak. Sorry, let me put it back on peak to peak. And there's the frequency. There's the frequency right there. Sine wave, as you can tell, I have it on sine wave. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all this in at the same time. I really don't know how to do this. Um, okay, we'll try it this way and see if I can get everything in frame. It's not going to be perfect and I don't have a tripod. But I'm going to try to increment this slowly. We're on 3 megahertz. There's 4. There's 5. There's 6. Now notice when I go to 7. Bang. Look at the amplitude difference. Notice when I go to 8. Bang. Down. Now I'm going to do this again, stepping through it slowly, but just show on the oscilloscope itself. And I'll just name out the megahertz um, reading. We're at 4 megahertz now. That's 5. That's 6. Now watch 7. Bang. Now watch 8. That's nine, that's 10. Now during this, that's eight, that's seven, that's six. Um, none of the amplitude is, the amplitude hasn't been touched. It tells me that there's a resonance issue. That's what's going on here. That's what it tells me. I really wanted to post this very quickly so you all can give me some feedback, but this might be the answer. Turning the pre-selector 
has very little difference. So it's not that it's just tuned to 7 megahertz. That's really not what's doing it. And if you all look at the schematic, uh, that line coming off of that bottom pin, there's no real tuning that's taking place on that line. So we have the straight line, we have an inductor, capacitors, blah, 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 the tubes, and that just goes to the rectifier. I don't know how it's, I mean, I have not changed, I checked the inductance with my LCR meter, it's fine. I changed all the capacitors, and they are proper spec, by the way, uh, as some have pointed out that that's my problem, it's not my problem, that's why I changed them. And they are proper, and they're brand new changed all the capacitors so it's not a leaky capacitor it's not a off value capacitor um, so that's not the problem so if you all could give me some ideas uh, of what do you think is going on here what is causing this resonance if you in fact think that this might be the problem which this seems very promising to me I would appreciate it and I'd like to hear back from you all anyway this also might answer why when the tubes are pulled, even when they're cold, the resonance, go, the uh, ALC calms down. Because of course, the grids do offer a certain amount of capacitance. Um, so anyway, uh, let me know what you think. That right there, that, ver that Vericap, that five picofarad Vericap, that is for neutralization. That really has nothing to do with it, as you can tell. So it's not a neutralization issue. So anyway, bad design on Yazoo, uh, Yazoo's point? I, I don't know. I mean, this line is a straight line into the, um, into the rectifier, which is rectifier A. And I'm going to post that schematic as well with this video, as well as this schematic. So thank you all for sticking with me. And if you could give me any idea of what you think of this, I would appreciate it. But thank you all for your time and take care.